Fox 5 obtained this exclusive video of that water main break. It happened early this morning. Surveillance video capturing the moment the water burst onto the street. Yeah, and let's send things over to Fox 5's Richard Jacobus. Richard, the water turned the subway tracks into like many rivers. How are things looking for tonight's commute? The never-ending plume of water, Natasha and Teresa, and these crews have been working all day and now into the night, still pumping out some of that water that is in that, that from the holes that they dug up here on 7th Avenue. Good news tonight, the problems with the evening commute on the one, two, and three lines, they're all back open. But there are businesses operating without water for most of the day, all because of that high-pressure break that bursts in the middle of the night. Exclusive surveillance video obtained by Fox 5 shows the moment that gush of water spouted onto 7th Avenue just before 3 a.m. The street quickly becomes a brown stream of mud that has cars slowing down while wading through and garbage bags floating down 40th Street. It was more than a century-old 20-inch pipe that burst onto the subway tracks this morning, halting the morning commute. Busy one, two, and three lines stalled for hours as crews worked to clear a never-ending plume of water from the tracks. We believe 1.8 million gallons of water entered our system. Nearly 2 million gallons of water. That forced MTA and New York City DEP crews to excavate giant holes on 7th Avenue to repair it. Just before noon, service was back up and running on all three subway lines. But over at the local bakery, no water for hours, causing manager Celeste Roman to consider closing up shop early. It's affecting business because my poor bakers have to go around the corner and bring back buckets of water to wash our dishes. The MTA, meanwhile, praising the fast-moving crews who got part of the nation's largest transit system back up and running long before the evening commute, realizing how big this mess was and what an even bigger mess it would have been going home tonight. I want to thank the men and women behind me who represent the 150 uh, and more uh, subway uh, employees who turned out uh, starting at 3 a.m. this morning to restore service in the 123, which we did at, uh, just before 11 uh, this morning. We're back live here in Times Square, 7th and 40th. You could check out that replacement pipe and the actual size of it. You need giant pipes like that to pump out the nearly 2 million gallons of water. Again, all of that water is still being pumped out here tonight. That's why the street is still closed. The MTA says they still have a lot of work to do before they reopen 7th Avenue, which again is still closed between 39th and 42nd Streets tonight. They'll do that work in the overnight hours and off hours so it doesn't disrupt traffic. Still no word tonight, though, on what caused that pipe to burst. We are live in Times Square. Richard Jacobus, Fox 5 News, Natasha, Teresa. Yeah, quite the scene right there in Times Square. All right, Richard, thank you.